Hey there guys, welcome back to the Insect Nerd where we talk about insects, such as caterpillars, I'll tell you what this is in a minute, leaf insects, stick insects, beetles and all sorts of other insects. Um, I also talk about um, amphibians, I've got two white tree frogs and uh, Neverwin Luna and my aquatic gecko Pharaoh. Um, today I'm just sort of going to do a little miniature update because I know I haven't done a video for a while and I will let you know the reason why and that's because I have actually moved now um, in with my boyfriend so that's why um, I've been just too busy to really post anything else but um, we're still settling in we've still got stuff to move around we've got a new cat don't know where he is at the moment he was in the room um, but he's not really going to say hello. Are you going to say hello? No, he's just going to sit around. It's all right. I'm monitoring everything. I'm aware he's he's around here, so I'm not going to just um, let him get my insects. But the insects are in nets and stuff, so it should be all right. Um, I'm. It's quite funny. He's gone straight into his little uh, box that I he likes to hide in because I'm putting you put the tripod on here. Well, the selfie stick, so I could film. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on these guys. So if you haven't watched my previous video, these guys are Atticus Atlas, giant Atlas moth. And this is so the larvae of them. So these are the caterpillar, uh, the stage before the pupae. So it's not quite the moth yet, but I just wanted to show you um, this amazing creature. Um, so I did do a care video for L1, L2 and L3, L4 and L5. A bit diff more different. Uh, they have um, they're sort of more resistant to lower humidity levels, but still try to keep it humid. Obviously, I will do a care video another time. Um, show you how to set it up for L4 and L5. It's not really much difference except from you put them in a net. Um, I've got them in a QV net. Um, I still haven't put water pots. Um, I need to refresh the leaves again today. Um, I do it every so often. Um, I, I don't put water pots in there still, not because I'm worried they're going to drown, it's just, um, I just, I, well, I, I mean like privet can last quite a long time compared to other plants, um, but I guess I just kind of got into the habit of not putting it in with water plant pots, but from now on I will probably put it in with water pots because they're big enough, but look at how amazing they are look at those sort of spiky bits there and you know they can actually sort of um they can sort of uh sort of um spray stuff like sort of a sort of uh chemical no, it's not really a chemical but it's an irritant 50 centimeters away really amazing um it's more for birds but yeah just be careful anyway just in case they think you're a bird but yeah just wanted to show you um amazing thing Look at that colouring. Um, it's if you've seen the L one, L two, and L three video, you will notice the real difference from the younger ones, the younger instar, to the older one. But truly amazing. Look how big that one is. So that's my biggest one. Um, I would suggest maybe raising them from cocoon first. I've done that before, and it was much easier. Raising these guys was a big challenge because I was doing it um, as I was moving because I didn't realise when the move date was and I got them and I thought it was during the move and I was sort of going between my house and here. Um, so it was a very tricky time, unfortunately, and um, I lost a few, but um, with good care and um, not something, you know, a big event such as moving, um, you can really sort of care for them but I think they are really tricky because of their humidity when they're younger L1, L2, L3 they need really high humidity so it's best to keep them in a plastic tub with a few lids but um, I'll go for you through the care on the other video for that but yeah I just wanted you to have a nice lovely look and spikes to sort of update you where where they are in their journey um, it's just yeah it's just been so busy um, I don't think it's, uh, I'm going to be able to do a video every week. Not that I did a video every week, I tried to do one every month, but it'd be four to six weeks or 
Um, I start uni soon, so I'm quite excited. I'm doing ecology and conservation. Um, I've always been a big believer in ecology and conservation and, um, you know, insects. <laughs> um, and, you know, so I'm really excited for it. But, yeah, just wanted to show you this lovely thing here. I'm trying to get close to the camera. It's not me, the caterpillar camera. The camera's quite far. The caterpillar close to the camera. But yeah. That's what it looks like. It looks kind of, my friend said it kind of looks like toothpaste. And I kind of agree with her because it's got like sort of the liminess and then the white sort of dusting on the top. Um, but yeah, these guys are amazing. Um, and I do recommend them just maybe raise them to cocoons first, it's a lot easier, don't go to larvae. Uh, larvae are sort of very intermediate to advanced. Um, I really struggled just because obviously I was moving and I had to go back and forth, back and forth. It might be easier if, you're, if you've got all your animals stationed and you're not in a big sort of life transfer, you know? But yeah, just wanted to show you, this was a very quick video, just to sort of talk about what's going on. Um, I don't know if you noticed my new hair either. Sort of totally ready um and just to sort of let you know what the score is and I'd, I'd love to do more videos um it's just you know time is of the essence there's never enough time in the world is there but uh yeah i just wanted to show you how these guys are doing really as well but yeah no thank you so much for watching this very quick video um i want to update my vlog as well um my blog at some point as well because um i haven't got around to it unfortunately it's Again, one of those things that you need time for. Um, but I want to try and do it more um, if I can. But um, I've got loads of other insect care bits on there. But if you want to go on there and have a look, um, it's www.theinsectnerd.co.uk. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm on there um, more than anything else. Um, it's at theinsectnerd97. Um, I'm also on TikTok. I do bits of bobs, but really... Um, I'm not on it as much, really, just because, I don't know, like, I'm not, I guess I just, I prefer things like Instagram more, um, and YouTube, although I don't really use YouTube much at the moment, um, I, I do like social media, I just, I'm not as organised to be like, alright, I'm doing a vlog now, or, you know, timing, you know, there's always something that I've got to do, and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who's like, that's me as well, so I try and do it as often as I can, and I apologise, if that's not often enough, but it's just life, isn't it? And things get in the way and, you know, I've got uni coming up, so unfortunately I won't be able to do it as much, but I will try and fit it in maybe videos every six to seven weeks. I know that's not a lot of videos or I'll just do it as often as I can. And I'm sorry that's the case, but um, because I really do enjoy doing these videos. It's just timing, you know, it's so frustrating. Urgh. But yeah, no, thank you for listening. And um, yeah, um, if you have any questions, um, please DM me. Also, the people who questioned about me doing a setup um, to show you how to set up a rainbow bed beetle uh, breathing enclosure, uh, I will do that soon as well. I will get to that. Um, I know I haven't got to a lot of stuff and I'm very disorganised as a person and believe me, it's frustrating, but um, there's lots of stuff going on. So, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more insecty stuff. I will do it as often as I can. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm very passionate about this and I'll keep this going somehow. <laughs> yeah, no, I will keep it going. Thank you so much. All right, bye.